before i start with this case i just want to say that this is more of an educational content so you can know what people out there can be capable of even people that seem to look innocent i must warn you the details involved in this crime are very disturbing and dark it also sounds like something from a horror movie as a result viewers and listeners discretion is highly advised i couldn't find much background information about the parties involved however i have done my best to cover the crime in this video from the sources which i had researched on this gruesome case occurred on the 11th of april 2019 in kosk located in western russia mikhail tikhonov was a 27 year old man he had been trained as a doctor hence he was a young russian doctor on the other hand nina sogotskia was a 27 year old woman she was born on October 6, 1994. Some reports did refer to her as Nina, while her Russian VK social media profile has her name as Nika. But for the sake of accuracy, I shall refer to her as Nika. I would also use Tikhonov for the man doctor to keep things simple and understandable. They had both met at the expenses of Contact Day, where they started talking online and got to know each other for a little bit after which they decided to meet for a date when they found out they lived in the same city of Kursk. On the 11th of April 2019, they met at the city square in Kursk. That night, she had reportedly been out partying with Tikhonov. Tikhonov had been on a night out with Nika in Kursk, drinking and having fun. When both were done for the day, Nika would invite Tikhonov to her own flat where they both headed for the night. While in Nika's flat, the pair continued to drink alcohol. At a point, the two began to make out. While having sex, Tikhonov noticed something which made him snap and do something beyond evil. You would ask, what did Tikhonov notice that made him snap? And that I would answer. Five days later, which was on the 15th of April 2019, Nika's family and friends began to call her phone and did all they could to reach her, but they couldn't get to her. She wasn't answering her phone, neither was she replying to any of her messages. Meanwhile, throughout the night, Nika's mother had been looking for her child, and after failing to reach her, she would contact the police and file an official report. Unfortunately, through proper investigation, the police were able to get information as to Nika's last sighting and whom she was with. With that information, some members of the Russian police unit would storm into Tekhonov's apartment. In his apartment, they would meet Tekhonov and would begin to search his apartment. It wouldn't take long before they would be met with a grisly sight. Now, to know what happened, we should go back to the previous night, which was during the date night, when both had been out drinking and getting to know each other. Nika would invite Tikhonov to her flat. When they started drinking, and fast forward to when they started having sex, while making out, Tikhonov discovered that his partner Nika had a distinct mark on her body, and this mark showed that she had undergone a sex change surgery. This meant that she was transsexual, making her a transgender. This also meant that Nika, who he thought was a woman during their dating period, was previously a man. Allegedly, this was something Nika failed to disclose to Tikhonov while they were dating. In the heat of rage and possibly feeling deceived, Tikhonov stopped the sex, even as Nika wanted to continue. Nika, on seeing Tikhonov's reaction during the intimate moment, tried to continue the sex. But at that moment, Tikhonov grabbed her by the neck and started to squeeze it tight until there was no more sign of life in her. Literally, Tikhonov snuffed the life out of her. But what makes this case so disturbing and brutal was what Tikhonov did next after he felt that killing her was not enough and to hide what he had done. In a twisted attempt to hide the murder by getting rid of the body, Tikhonov proceeded to dismember her corpse. He took Nika's body to her bathroom where he began to cut her open that night. He cut out her internal organs, and after cutting out her internal organs and intestines, he began to chop her body into smaller pieces and tiny chunks. 
after that was over, he began to flush the tiny bits of flesh and intestines which he had cut down the toilet. When that was done, Tekonov then carved off a portion of her flesh which she boiled and then put into the oven. And to take matters far, he began to roast and cook them while in the oven. Primarily, this was done to evaporate excess liquid off the flesh. When this was done, he then put the head and limbs into a bag and left Nika's flat to his own flat. And while at his own flat, he made use of his rasp to saw off the limbs and ribs. When he was done with that, he then threw them into the rubbish bins. It was during the last stage of disposing the remaining body and the final moment of throwing off the cut limbs and ribs, days after driving from Nika's house to his own house, that the police came to detain and question him. While in his apartment, the police would find the grisly sight of Nina's head still attached to the spine, and which the young doctor had covered in salt to get rid of the smell of death. This he had hidden on his balcony. I have blurred out the grisly sight of the head found which was attached to the spine due to YouTube's community guidelines and how terrifying the sight is. If you wish to search for it, the pictures are online and on Reddit. But I must warn you, the sight is very disturbing and gory, showing an act which have been done violently and which I must say is very despicable. The image would forever be etched into your mind once you see it. And once you see it, you can't unsee it. After being arrested and while in detention, Tikhonov would be questioned and there he would begin his confession. He would also be questioned about what he did with the roasted flesh which was seen in Nika's oven and in the bin when the officers visited her apartment and searched around when her mother first reported her missing. In his defense, he denied being a cannibal and told the police he had flushed the cooked human flesh down the toilet and had never consumed it. According to reports, Tikhonov had no time to get rid of the remaining body parts as he was caught. It was also during this disturbing confession and using the various evidence found at both crime scene did we come to know how this very gruesome crime took place. Even as Tekonov claimed he became a victim of deceit, people who knew Nika and some who heard this horror story would doubt Tekonov's version of what really happened on that fateful day. Nika's friend would say that Tekonov and Nika had actually been dating for a while and he was well aware that she was a transgender woman and even expressed desire to marry her. People that were close to Nika or who simply knew her remember that she always felt wrong in a man's body and also felt that something was missing or at least a part of her. They also remembered that beginning her transition to a woman finally made her feel right. As for Tekhanov, Tekonov's friends would describe him as a good, quiet guy, but they would say for a while he had been struggling with mental health troubles and at some point he had spent some time in a psychiatric hospital after he was ruled incompetent to stand trial for multiple counts of theft. He was said to face up to 20 years in jail if convicted for murder and for mutilating a corpse. If any visible update comes with regards to the sentencing or imprisonment, I would be sure to let you all know. With the gruesomeness of this crime, I do think a more deserving punishment should have been meted out on such a man. However, I shall refrain from giving my own opinion and would like to know what you think. Do you think the 20 year sentence and punishment fits the crime? Before I conclude this gruesome case, I would also like you all to know that before the crime was committed, Nika, who was formerly a male, had been legally registered as a female by the Russian authorities and our love and respect goes to her. This case shows the dangers and amount of pain being inflicted on transgenders around the world daily. People who had most of the time struggled with their identity before they finally found it. Nika never deserved such a gruesome ending. May her soul rest in perfect peace and she largely remains the focus in this case.